Hello. This reading is for Aries. How are you today, Aries? Aries, let's go and see what is the message for you. What's the message for Aries? Page of Cups. Let's find out more about this offer, Aries. Three of Wands is Aries energy. Aries, somebody who has been thinking about you is going to approach you, I assume, with a love offer. Is it an offer you feel strongly about? It doesn't really feel... Let's see who is this Three of Wands. That Empress can either be you sitting in your own power or quiet. 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 Oh, Aries, do I have to go and bring her up here again? We'll see. <laughs> it's like my two words for every reading. <laughs> Cat meows and quiet. Uh, Empress. It's because Aries, she sees me talking to the blank space and she says you should be talking to me. So the Empress, this could either be you sitting in your own power, ability, or somebody seeing you as quite the star to obtain. go and clarify the rest of these areas and then go into this because from what I see so far under three of wands either somebody is intimidated to approach you if we go off on the love reading but if this is an offer if I'm seeing a work offer coming some sort of opportunity bottom of the deck energy ace of pentacles could just be speaking to your own frustration. So I'm going to clarify the other two. We have a love reading, Aries. Anyway, <laughs> you know, I was having a meeting earlier, Aries, and she was meowing, and then somebody said, the person I was talking to, she was saying, Oh, I hear your a child crying in the background. She was trying to say like a weird voice. I was like, no, that's not a child. It's a Siamese. But it does sound kind of not what you would expect a cat meow to sound like, right? So many different vocalizations. Aries, somebody's about to go and make an offer to you. 
This person, though, feels a little insecure in themselves, Aries. They do feel a little insecure in themselves. Aries, they've been planning and watching on approaching you for quite a while. They've been keeping themselves distant from you, too. Not quite sure of how the best way to approach you. Also not really wanting to make the move. In itself to approach you, they didn't want to move forward. There's intimidation here, some low self-esteem. But this person has been thinking about you, Aries. While thinking about you, they have been energetically feel evolving to this. So these two separate kings, Aries, I don't exactly think so. One could say there are two separate kings with a five of wands turmoil. But I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling that the turmoil this person is already feeling about themselves and how great you are. Head and shoulders above the rest, including them. This is them just working through the logistics of how exactly to approach you. You know that indecision is coming to an end, which is why they're going to approach, cautious, going to see if they could try and get you in romantic energy. They don't even see you so much as someone's attention they have to try and get. They know they could just approach you, but it's going to take a lot of effort for them to do that. Aries, I do see soulmate ties here. And this person does want commitment from you. This person has been watching you for such a long time, though. this goes over here. A very long time they've been watching you. Curious. Anyway, that's my message for you, Aries. A love connection of somebody who's been watching you for very long is finally going to have the gumption to approach you. Wonder why they're approaching you now. I wonder why they're approaching you in such cautious energy, especially Aries, and this is how they really feel about you. They really feel about you in the full maturity of commitment and emotion but they will approach you and deal with you in skittish page energy. Until the next reading, Aries, I am wishing all of you the most beautiful day. Bye-bye.